Hello, this is Arshadina from Team ERP. Today I'm going to show you another tutorial on the WordPress ERP module. The WordPress ERP is a solution which assists your business operation such as human resource, client resource, accounting and even for project management. By default, the plugins are all in English, but you can translate to your desired language. So today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to translate the WordPress ERP module to your desired language. If you want to translate, first you must register so you can participate. If you have already registered, then you can log in. If you haven't registered, then just click on sign up for free. Once you have logged in, Go back to the website, scroll to the bottom of the page, and click on Translate Extensions. Now click on a module you want to translate. I'm going to click on Asset Management. After clicking on the Asset Management module, you will see a list of available languages. When you have selected your language, a list of available strings will appear. Double click on an empty string and type your translation in the empty box. When you are done, click on Suggest New Translation and your string translation will be completed. Likewise, you can click on an already translated string and start translating if you think there is a better translation available. Now I'm going to show you how to implement a fully translated module to your WordPress ERP website. First, choose a module. I'm going to choose attendance management and then select on the language that has been fully translated. Now you need to export the translation file. For that, scroll down to the bottom of the page. You will need to download two important files from here. First, select only matching the filter from the drop-down menu just beside the export link. Next, select portable object message catalog. Now click on the export link. This will download a .po file to your computer. For the second file, select Machine Object Message Catalog from the drop-down menu and click Export again. This will download a .mo file to your computer. Locate the files and copy the files that we just downloaded. Finally, you will need to place these two copied files inside the language folder of your plugin. Let me just show you where you can find this file. Under the plugins folder, we will paste the files under the attendance folder. Since that is the module, that has been fully translated. Therefore, it can be fully implemented to our WordPress website. Now it's time to change your website's language. Go to your WordPress page, click on Settings, and then click on General, and under Site Language, click on the drop-down menu and select your desired language. And then click on Save Changes. And that's how you translate and implement a newly translated file to your WordPress website. If you like this video, do subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We are also offering a 30% discount to those who translate the ERP modules into their own language. If you can't find your language in the language list, feel free to contact us and start translating online. Good luck!